What y'all doing out there in TV land, man? If you ain't tuned in to Kofi's universe, you slipping. That's why I go get all my info for Black Culture. He do the best album reviews I seen. You know what I'm saying? Dope rap reaction videos. He do it all. You heard me? Go to Kofi's universe right now. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Man, stay in tune, loved one. That's how it's happening. Me. <laughs> YouTube salute Joe Button. Criticizes J. Cole for what he views as him shrinking responsibility for his role in the heated beef between Kendrick and Drake. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video. Hit that sub button. Click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So J. Cole released a track last week called Port Antonio, marking his first statement since he bowed out of his brief battle between Kendrick and Earlier this year, I heard it. Dope song, but you know, I got some I got some stuff to talk about it. But um let's listen to what Joe Budden has to say about K Dot and um I'm gonna give you Kofi's perspective. And Yo, guess, guess what? what most niggas do? That. What? Go publicly, Baby, nigga. baby, baby, you the greatest thing in my life, blah, blah, blah. I'm lost in the world without you and all that other shit publicly. Awesome, you want to see one? Oh, oh. No, awesome. <laughs> and now all, all of that dude, all of his bitches, mm -hmm. reserve the right to look at him different. Fuck them. Which is what Jay Cole is, is what Cole is what, saying. Yeah, but that's my problem. What do you mean you finally free? That dismisses all accountability from the part that he has played That's true. in the big three debacle. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. What do you mean you finally free as if you never wanted parts of the big three conversation? Or, or, that is a load up, of crap. Up, and I'm up, not going to let you niggas up, just hold up. piss on me and tell me it's raining. Or, Get the fuck out of here. He could have wanted parts of that and then saw where it was going and exactly. said, you know, I don't want to deal with this or, shit no more. Y'all can have that shit. Y'all can have all, or, that all that big three shit. Or to be honest, yo, then go sit your ass over there with Sunshine and Anderson, no. And the yes. rest of the people that changed their mind. Man. Yes, nigga. Don't pop back up and say, if I woulda, I coulda, but then I woulda lost. Nigga, no. Not over dead presidents. <laughs> yo, the That's where I agree with Parks. You ever heard dead presidents? Yo, yo, yo. The nigga was holding his man's hand at the hospital bed, saying, I'm gonna kill them niggas for you. Get the fuck out of here with this soft shit. <laughs> I hate this soft hip hop shit. It's soft. Call it what it is. These hip hop niggas is feeling like hoes out here. That's regrets. But I got your point. No, it's their presence. That's not true. It's their presence. They made no point. So, uh, that don't feel right. Uh -huh. You're right. It's their presence. But yo, these niggas out here are hoes I, and bitches. I was just about to agree with you. Until these niggas are hoes having to having to cater to the feelings of niggas that they don't invite to Thanksgiving, to Christmas, to New Year's Eve. You don't know that. You don't know that. You don't know that. I'm talking for me. Y'all don't know it. Oh. Nigga, speak for y'all. So, you know, so you know it. Don't speak for me. I'm talking for me. These niggas ain't friends. None of them. The end. Y'all can think whatever y'all want. True. None of them are friends. Hey, they can think whatever they want too. This though. Thing is, he might we just in a friend. beneficial business. Oh, to work. We together. in a beneficial business to where it's smoke and mirrors, and we're not allowed to say none of what really is. And if we did, the whole thing would come tumbling down like Jenga and London Bridge. I don't want to hear this shit. I don't. Okay. Not over dead presidents. All right, check out the full episode if you want to. Joe Button podcast, but. I have to agree with Joe Budden because where's your accountability, J. Cole? Like I said, I respect J. Cole when he apologized and he came out saying he don't want to, you know, do the battle no more. That was cool. Like I said, hey, he felt it in his spirit. Ain't nobody knocking that. But why drop this song? It's almost like you're begging. We already know that you didn't want to do it no more. You sat on the sideline between Drake and Kendrick. It's over with now. It's almost like you're trying to you want to play both sides of the fences. That's how I'm looking at it. That's how I'm looking at it. You, to me, J. Cole is a great rapper. His lyrical prowess, you can't deny. But as far as him being the big three, you're out of there, man. You out of there. Because these rappers are getting soft. These rappers are getting soft. Vinny the Butcher even said that, that there's no friends in, in rap. You don't have no real friends out here. You have people that you associate with, and you say, what's up, what's up, and you might do a tracker here, too. That's it. But ain't no real friends out here. That's smoke and mirrors. Drake and Kendrick were never friends. They jumped on the track, did something with each other. Cool. J. Cole and Kendrick were never friends. They did a track. Um, J. Cole produced a track for Kendrick before. 
they did, you know, a freestyle together. They did the um, Black Friday little freestyle that came out around the day after Thanksgiving. You know, they did stuff like that. It was rumor for them to actually do an EP that never happened. Drake went to go get J. Cole. Oh, yeah, I think you're the greatest rapper out here right now. He was just taking subliminal shots at Kendrick, and everybody knew that because he wanted somebody to ride for him and somebody to be a sucker for him. And J. Cole for, fell for the banana in the tailpipe. And I don't care what nobody say. And I love J. Cole, but like, no. And look what happened. The smoke happened. You saw what Kendrick did to Drake. And all these Drake stands are delusional, thinking that Drake won. I don't know what the hell <laughs> y'all smoking or drinking. What planet you living on? But Drake lost. He lost against Pusha T. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So come on. But anyway, though, back what I'm saying... Hip hop ain't hip hop no more. Nothing's nothing's nothing no more. Like even in sports, back in the day, like you was going at your opponent, you had respect for the other person over there. Michael Jordan respected Magic Johnson. He respected Karl Malone. He respected John Stockton, but he was gonna beat them. He wanted to be better than them. He wanted more rings than them. He wanted to be better than Charles Barkley. He wanted to be better than David Robinson, Alonzo Morton. Whoever else was out there. Now, today, even Kobe Bryant. Throw Kobe Bryant in the equation. Al Iverson in the equation. Those type of players. You see what I'm saying? Now, today, oh, you got certain players. They, everybody trading jerseys and hugging each other. Oh, man, we're going to kick it right, man. Get out of here with that, dude. That shit is boo-boo, man, homie. They, they, I mean, what's up, bro? Like, y'all don't care about competition? Y'all don't care about being the best in the world? You can still be cool with somebody on the offseason. I'm not saying be that person enemy, but when the game is locked in, the, you know, the, the, the time starts, it's over with. You're not my friend no more. You're my enemy on the other side. I'm trying to take you out. I'm trying to annihilate you. You know, Ali, that's why people respect Ali. I respect Marvin Hagler, and I love Marvin Hagler. Roy Jones Jr., Tyson, the real fighters, man. You know, I don't know, man. This hip hop is just getting garbage. Like, that's why even Kendrick, you can respect him because he stays to himself and he's just in the cut. He's hibernating, waiting for somebody to call him out so he can do what he needs to do. And he ain't he ain't ducking no smoke. You know, like I said, you could be cool, but you have to be prepared to go to war if somebody calls you out. That's what it is. It's this is. A, um, this is like a combat sport. You be cool with somebody outside of the ring or the octagon, if it's MMA or if it's boxing, it doesn't matter. But if they call you out, well, what you gonna do? You shouldn't duck the smoke, especially it's for a title, especially for you to be the, the number one pound for pound person in the world. You should want that smoke. Post your comments below. Hope smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. You want to support, donate to the channel. I have Patreon, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Stream Apps, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.